Good morning and welcome to the seventh day of my journey towards the North Cape. It is a bit overcast today, but uh, I've actually seen the sun for a couple of minutes. But I've also gotten rained upon a couple of minutes here, so we're gonna have some mixed weather further on, I think. But it's a nice riding temperature, it's about 19 degrees. The goal of today is to make it to a campground that is 120 kilometers away from where I slept last night and yesterday I made 125 so it should be doable but there are a lot of hills on the way so I mean for as usual a pretty tough day but I got a lot of uh, nice surroundings around me to keep me company. When I left the rest stop area I was fully prepared to enter the almost five kilometer long tunnel that laid ahead of me. But luckily enough, there was a side road for cyclists along the tunnel as there had been many times before on this trip. So I had to trade a little bit of climbing effort in return for skipping out on the tunnel. But soon enough I got rewarded with great views and a pleasant descent on the other side of the mountain. Just trying to wait out the rain a bit here under this bus stop but unfortunately according to the weather forecast it's supposed to rain for the next two hours and I'm just about to start a big climb up a mountain pass here and this is the last little village before so kind of torn if I'm gonna wait because I'm afraid that up on the mountain pass it's probably raining a lot more than it does down here So it looked like the weather was going to clear up a, a bit, so I decided to hit the road again. But after about two minutes of cycling, it was just pouring down. And I was getting a bit chilly as well, and I kept looking to find another bus stop or, or some roof or something to stand under. And just as I got to the foot end of, of this mountain pass that I have coming up, I found this roadside toilet, but when I got to the door it was closed. Luckily enough I had my multi-tools, I was able to sort of pry it open. <laughs> so now I, I got in and uh, it's uh, a closed toilet but it's decent enough. <laughs> and it's really warm in here, so I got both me and the bike. And I also got my rain jacket hanging up here to dry a bit. 
So now I'm gonna stand in here for maybe an hour or so, <laughs> at least until the rain finally dies down. After getting warm and a bit drier, I decided to make a run for it about an hour later. The rain had almost stopped, but it was still very damp, cold and wet outside. It's pretty cold right now. I think it's 11 or 12 degrees. And here we have the first reindeer of this trip. I think we're finally at the top now. <laughs> Up in the clouds here. It's mainly just mist and uh, rain up here. The visibility is really bad. You only see maybe 30 meters ahead. So I'm gonna take it a bit careful down on the ascent here. Almost at the top. Is it almost there? Yeah, five more minutes maybe. It's a very, very, very long ride from the bottom. Yeah, the, uh, on the other side it took me an hour to get there. It did? Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Sweden. Sweden. Da kan vi snakke norsk. Jaha, ja det. Hei, hei. Ha det. Going down the mountain, the clouds started to clear a bit and the visibility got a lot better. But it was still extremely cold going down that steep mountain road. Man, what a ride! Took me about five minutes to go down the same amount of uh, elevation that I had to climb for about an hour. <laughs> well, now I'm finally down at sea level, so I'm gonna continue on towards the campground. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty long day today. I still have around uh, 48 kilometers left to go. So. I'm just two thirds into this day. When you get to a gate like the one I have behind me here, you know you're in for a big climb. So in the winter time when weather gets really, really bad, they pull these down. So like with this one, trucks can't pass through. But I've also seen these gates with both car signs and truck signs. So they basically just shut off the whole mountain pass and no one's able to get through. Checked out this war memorial. Yeah. 
This sign behind me here says that it used to be a prisoner of war camp just down the road and I actually saw it from the road but I was too tired. I've been climbing up for the last 45 minutes or so up this mountain. There used to be a prisoner of war camp here during the Second World War and about 400 Norwegians worked in this camp. And this road was a very strategically placed road to be able to transport personnel and material from these two fjords. So it was important to keep it open and so they build these big walls to keep the snow from sliding down the slopes. They also tried to build a tunnel but that turned out to be too big of an undertaking. It's time to get cold again. But I ended up at a campground as you possibly saw. The number one reason for that is that almost all of my batteries are depleted. My drone batteries are almost out and I have uh, very little power left in my battery packs as well. So I really need to charge up everything in order for me to be able to film the last couple of days here in Arctic Norway. And it's always nice to get a hot shower as well. Plus they had this fantastic kitchen in here with plates and glasses and cutlery. So it was really nice to be able to sit down and eat uh, dinner with a knife and fork for once and a plate. <laughs> it was a big day today. I made about 120 kilometers and most notably three very steep hills which made the total elevation change over 1500 meters. So tomorrow I'll head towards the town of Alta and that's about 75 kilometers away from here. And that is next week's video. So join me next time when I continue my journey towards North Cap. We only have a couple of days left on this tour here. So we're getting pretty close to the northernmost point in Europe now. And until next time, have a good one.